Hey guys, Sunny here. Just wanted to make a quick update for my trading throughout the day today. Um, you know, as we discussed in the morning, uh, natural gas prices were keeping above this green SMA line. And you know, like starting 5 a.m., it's been bullish. And um, well, actually, starting 3 a.m., it's been bullish. It's been keeping above this uh, middle view up. And uh, like 5 a.m., it's been keeping above the green SMA line throughout the day. Uh, during the live stream, you know, it uh, bounced off the green SMA line like two times. And uh, second time around, you know, like uh, I was hoping it will uh, break below the green SMA line and, you know, up to the VWAP line, but uh, that didn't quite happen. And then again, at like 12:30 uh, p.m., uh, you know, like uh, at this point, the EMA line. Uh, sorry, the MACD wasn't uh, uh, quite low, you know, so I was thinking it will continue to go down and in the process break below the green SMA line and, you know, at least touch the sweep up, but it just bounced off quickly um, off of this uh, green SMA line and, uh, you know, I added to my cold position because, you know, as it was uh, going up, you know, it was also getting overbought. So if you look at the 20 day one hour chart, uh, as of now, it seems to be overbought, and you know, through the throughout the night, it could continue to go up. And it might come down some, but uh, since it's overbought, you know, I feel comfortable holding uh, about a thousand share uh, into the night and to, into tomorrow morning. So I just kept adding, and you know, I just kept buying coal today uh, at lower prices. You know, I traded with some here and there. You know, as the price, as I saw the opportunity, but for the most part, I've been adding to my Cold position so let's see how um, uh, how it goes tomorrow um, on the 180 day chart it's not quite overbought you know like somewhere in between but on 20 day chart 21 hour chart it's uh, showing overbought conditions you know it's possible that overnight it might go up higher some uh, and then uh, and then fall down so I mean, you know, it, it could either fall now or uh, you know, it could fall uh, when it um, uh, opens in the morning. But either way, you know, I'm feeling comfortable holding thousand share overnight into tomorrow, and we'll see what happens. So you know, throughout the day, um, you know, my net losses were about six hundred twenty-two dollars, and then after hours, I made about seventy-four dollars. So overall, about five fifty dollars down on the day. Uh, which is not bad, you know, like I'm a half a thousand shares, so it's like 50 cents uh, per share. So if the prices go above, uh, go up like 50 cents, you know, I'll break even. But most likely tomorrow it's going to be higher than that. Um, you know, like, uh, you know, like, uh, the price is going up probably is uh, a rebound effect. You know, the prices are recovering from the gap down uh, over the weekend. Uh, it was like a huge gap down, so... I expect the prices to go up some, but it can continue to go up and up. Um, but you know, like as of now, the the conditions are overbought, so so um, you know it's most likely uh, yeah, there's a the probability of it, the probability of it's going higher is a lot less than the probability of it's going lower. So I feel comfortable holding my 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 position into tomorrow. As of now, I have uh, 1,049 shares which cost is 51.59 so i'm not that far off you know if you look at the ask price right now of prowess is like 51.23 so i mean you know i could easily recover from it tomorrow and uh, we'll see what happens you know like we have to keep in mind that uh, the winter is not going to be as cold uh, we are trading the february which is usually the cold and coldest month and uh, we have huge amounts of gas in storage so combining all these factors, you know, I feel comfortable trading, trading cold. You know, I mean, it's possible that the prices could still go up, but that's uh, that's less likely. So you know, we trade based off of probability. So the probability of it going down is higher, and that's why I feel comfortable trading, trading cold. And you know, you also can see that uh, about uh, 3:45 p.m., it's been uh, starting to trend down. Uh, it it uh, broke below the green SMA line and for rest of the day and after hours it's been keeping below and now like it's like bouncing down uh, MACD 
has crossed over on one minute chart on 20 day one hour chart it's uh, overbought and five minute chart you know it's making lower lows you know so that's uh, 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 that's why I'm feeling comfortable holding cold all right we'll see what happens tomorrow but uh, you know I'm pretty confident tomorrow the process will fall. Alright guys, take care. I'll catch up with you in the morning around 10 a.m. Bye for now.